Sinistalker here for another video. In this video right here, I'm gonna go into my buddy Mark's kids' birthday party. Should be pretty cool, heck yes. And my buddy, my other buddy Jez will be there too. Which I did a video with them about a month ago where we did the VHS party, but today it'll be a birthday party, not a VHS party. And also, we're gonna check out a monster truck competition, which I've never been to a monster truck competition before ever. This has been my first time going to one that's at Petco Park. It was, it was a rainy day out yesterday. It was raining out earlier today. Hope to God there's no rain while we're over there or I'll be a soaking wet mess. Sun's breaking through in the distance. Gets, still get some clouds in the air, but nothing too bad, hopefully. And so hopefully it does not rain. We're at the monster truck competition. But right now, I'm going to my friend Mark's son's birthday party. Pretty damn cool. Should be like, I think it's like pizza going on over there and also a ice cream cake. So we're going to fill up on that goodness and then from there, monster truck madness and also in this video i'll get some movie reviews i gotta talk about it i have three titles i'm gonna share with you guys in this video so make sure to look out for that also now let's get the show on the road there's a walk up here always time i come by this this area i always notice this bird cage with this interesting like um plants or something there's like a little there's like a fake bird or something in there see that look at that i don't know what that is i like it it's really cool and interesting at this house and then up here too they have this interesting doorway i've always uh, noticed there's another another bird cage and this interesting doorway i don't know what's going on in here it looks kind of cool though like i want to go in there and see what's inside there in this mystical garden who knows what's in this thing but it's probably pretty cool but I always always that kind of interesting little thing but now let's go up yeah, here cut through this alleyway to go to my friend's pad always cut through here usually even at nighttime at three like two in the morning or whatever I still cut through here anyway because that's how I do it. Got to cut through the alleyway. And this house over here always looks like this creepy looking place with the overgrown shrubs and everything like that. It looks like a back, like the back of a house or some sort of business or something. But it has, definitely has a neat, interesting creep look to it. Check it out. I just wanted to point that out, but it definitely has that look. Oh yes, foam, my man! Pad right out. now. I got the neutral pizza. We got the foamy beer. The foamy beer. That's how we do it, though, brother. We that's how we shit roll. Fuck, that's how we roll. Yeah. It's your awesome son's birthday. Ooh. Oh, and the birthday boy. Ooh, yeah. Very, very cruising yeah. in the room right now, getting ready for the monster truck show. Yeah. It should be cool. They always talk back to me after, like, go to the monster truck show. Monster truck. Whoa. Which I've never been to one brother. before. You've oh, been to man. one, right? It's gonna be great. I haven't been since ago, like uh, 20 years ago, dude. Wow. Yeah. This would be cool. Back in the 90s when my pops took me. So now okay. I'm taking my son. Nice. I no dig generational, that. I dig that. traditional kind of, you know? Here we are at Petco Park. Where the Mazda Truck Show is at. Right now we're walking over. It's pretty busy here, too. I don't think it is busy, but it's really really busy. Let me go over here in line. All right, so right now we're inside the uh, Petco Park at the Monster Truck Show. Right over there. So yeah, I'm meeting up with my buddies. They went over there somewhere, so I'm trying to meet up with them. We kind of got lost in line because the ticket thing was kind of a pain, but man, it's busy over here. I didn't expect it to be this busy, but it's really busy. Check it out. It's busy as hell over here. With my man Jez, right over there. We're looking for our buddy Mark Rattail. <laughs> he's gone, went to the bathroom, but we don't know where he's at right now. He's, he's somewhere. We don't know where he is. We're trying to find him. There's a lot of people over here, too. It's crazy busy. And it's really loud, too, with the monster truck engine. Oh, we're finally here. We found our area. Look at this. And here we go. There's like these Connie Cotton Candy monster oh, truck things. Five. Yes, and All here right. it is. We're going to drop that high seven and those cool. six. We're gonna find our and we're going to add that fair score. And add that fair score of seven. Give me score of the Brave digger. Oh, I don't know what I mean about this. Brave digger right over there. And of course, Bigfoot from back in the day. So what I really know of. It's be kind of neat. Looking around, and where to sit at, we got no idea where to even sit at. It's like, it's like all the directions want to find your seats at, it's kind of a pain. Now we have, we have no idea. We've been looking around for the past like 15 minutes trying to find our seat. <laughs> you gotta love that. We have no idea, but we got this in the background. Pretty loud, but we got beer. <laughs> Bigger. 
Become a star of the monster trucks. Ah. Get our beer on, and we got the uh, pretzels and cheese. That's what we gotta do. Pretzels and cheese, my man there, Mark. Eating them nachos. Nachos, my friend. Look at that. Look at that. Like, hey, a... whose cheese is that? Nacho cheese. Ah, that's a good one. I like that. Damn, you told me right there. Pretzels, cheese, beer, somewhere down there. Crashes, pretty awesome. Pretty like loud in there too. So I'm just kind of walk around a little bit right now, a little intermission, see what kind of stuff is around here. A little view from the top to go overlooking downtown San Diego. Pretty nice. Everyone's all like walking around now. I'm not sure if this is over or just intermission or what. So I don't know. I think it's just intermission right now, but who knows. So that is the end of the show, and it was right? Grave Digger. How cool is that, man? Hey, it was man, fantastic. It was, it was fun as fuck. That was, it was awesome. Great. We had beers. two beers. Look at that. Beers. We're doing Dude. it. That's how, we, that's how we roll, man. That's how we roll this. Cheers. So, uh, yeah, Scruff McGruff said was a piece Scruff of crap. Scruff McGruff was out there obeying traffic laws. It was horrible. Go home, eat a dick. You suck. <laughs> he sucks. Grave Digger. He sucks. Rule, man. Shut it down. He did it. He did it. Take some notes, Scruff McGruff. That's right. Take some damn notes. Take some notes. Get it together, Scruff Sucker. McGruff. What is wrong with you? That's right. God it's all it. about Grave Digger. Grave Digger was crazy. Fucked it up. Did like a friggin' loop and stuff. He's oh, dude. Like a, like a, like a hand plant. Look, there's like nothing left on his fucking car out there. Yeah, his whole car is like gone. I was showing some footage earlier. Everything fell apart, but he still did like a G. Styling. Styling, bro. Who's the G. VHS Styling. Who's out there VHS Styling? Styling. Yeah, VHS Styling, styling dude. VHS Styling. The whole universe. VHS Styling. <laughs> styling. All the way. It was a straight pimp. Modelo Styling right there, my friend. Modelo. Woo! But my fun times, now we're gonna. Leave here a little bit, but had an awesome time. Right, so let's get done hanging out with buddies Mark and Jez for his son's birthday party. So that was really cool. I had a fun time at the Monster Jam Monster Truck Rally. That was really cool. I'm just walking to my car now, and because I parked up there, hung out their house for a little bit. Now I'm going home. But yeah, I'm glad it's not raining right now because the rain was out earlier and it messed up my whole hair. Look at that. It was all goofed up. The rain was all soaked up and stuff. It was crazy. But now, just in a, it's about 1 a.m. right now. So now I'm just going to head on back. Somewhere around here, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. Maybe hit up uh, somewhere. We'll see. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but we'll see. What's up, everybody? It's the next day from the Monster Truck Jam. I was gonna do my movie reviews last night, but I was kind of tired, and the hair and the and the rain messed up my hair. So I was like, shit. Now my hair is okay, and we're wearing crazy for Swayze shirt too. Hoo -hoo. Before we get into the movie reviews, a few of them right up here. I gotta crack open this ecto cooler. Oh yeah, should be a beer, but this is the next best thing. Mm. I put that right there. Now let's get on to these movie reviews. 
Alright, first up here by Arrow Video is this one, the Black Society Trilogy, which came out a couple of weeks ago. Cool films here, these crime movies, the three crime movies in this in this installment version of it, uh, by Takashi McKay. Um, these movies were made right before he got involved in the horror movies and stuff like that with his career. Did these ones first, which are like these Japanese crime movies of the underground, you know, like different kinds of stuff in Japan, like the crime element and kind of some sleazy stuff, but it's really, really cool set of three movies, and here's what it looks like inside. Nice setup, as Arrow Video always does. Got this nice booklet, as you can see, with some shots from the movie, and different things like that, some write-ups and whatnot. Pretty damn cool. Some of the movies, some of the stories of this are really grim and jacked up, but they're really good, though, especially if you're a fan of Takashi McKay, all the movies he's done in the past with different kinds of horror flicks and stuff like that. You'll definitely like these movies that he did first before he started doing those. He did these, so the movies have a kind of a cool, like, um, kind of an 80s element to them, the way they look and shot, like a nice crime action kind of element to them. But some good stuff right here. Really damn good stuff, especially if you're a fan of him. You want to see what he did before he became, like, famous. These are a nice one to check out. They're jam-packed with some good extras on there, some write-ups, some interviews and whatnot from him and some of the people about the movies themselves. Not a bad set right here. Pretty damn good. And next up, also from Arrow Video, next up here... It's a fun one I always liked and enjoy having watched in a while is this one, Psycho Mania, about a cool, awesome psycho biker gang called the Living Dead. And the biker of the gang, his name is Tom, and his mom is this uh, Satanist. And, and through all of that, he discovers how to live forever and be immortal. So what happens is, in his biker gang, he makes his biker gang people... What you have to do is you have to like uh, do like this little spell thing, and they, they believe in it. And when they do that, they have to kill themselves, and they come back and be immortal, and they cause havoc in the streets of Britain. That's what this is about. Really cool movie. I always like this one, made in the early '70s. Packed with jam-packed extras. This thing. This thing looks really clean. I've never seen a cleaner version of this in my life. Because usually, the ones I had before, they were kind of clean, but not as clean as this one. Since it's on Blu-ray, it looks really, really good. Fun movie. It has a nice kind of a weird like uh, to me, like a like a Disney made-for-TV movie sort of element, like from the 70s. I don't know, it has a weird, cool, strange vibe to it. But it's cool how they made it, though. It's just kind of a weird, cool vibe. Really fun stuff in this thing, jam-packed with extras. Open up inside and take a look at it and stuff like that. And you also get the original um, cool poster art for it, which I do like that a lot. It looks really, really nice. Um, here is the... I always love these helmets they wear with the glasses. The, coat, the goggles and stuff, I love that. But it's a fun, fun movie. Cool practical effects. Nothing gory, nothing like that. But it's just some fun stuff. I like the part two where like the biker guy he gets buried like in the, in, the, in, the, in the grave and stuff with his motorcycle in. And he just bursts out and stuff. It's just kind of cool how they how they do that. It's just a fun, fun, fun movie. Definitely a good one right here to check out. This just came out last week, so this is definitely a fun one. If you've not seen it, if you have seen it before, definitely get this version of it. It looks so much good. Like I said, it's packed. Full of great extras, some interviews, commentary, some stuff from the old DVD release, and they put some new stuff in this also for the Arrow video release. So this is definitely jam-packed, full of some damn good goodness. Off to the next one. Right next up here by All of Films is starring Richard Chamberlain as this, King Solomon's Mine. And this movie is uh, was put out by Canon Video back in the 80s. This was made in 1985. And... What's coming out this is like a total Indiana Jones uh, rip-off adventure of like Temple of Doom and Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's pretty much like a combination of those, but into this. It's just kind of this fun movie. We get this Richard Chamberlain, he's like this Indiana Jones character. He tries to look for this crazy gold like stash hidden like in the in like the, in the mountains of Turkey. They're supposed to find this thing and it's supposed to outrun like this weird like German like Nazi sort of people and stuff like that. It's just kind of this weird, interesting, fun movie. Cheesy, but it's cool and fun in a weird way. And what's funny about this too, so she stars also Sharon Stone in this thing as one of her first roles. And when they get the people at Canon, they wanted like, they're like, give me that Stone woman. And by that, then they, they hired Sharon Stone, but it was the wrong hire. It was supposed to be the woman that was in, uh, I think Kathleen Turner, or I think I think that's her, in uh, Romancing the Stone with Michael Douglas. So it was like the wrong cast. It was in that Canon documentary, which I had that too. That was That's what kind of what happened in this little factoid right there. But it's a fun little movie. Uh, I definitely liked it. My very first time watching it, I thought it was going to be like, I know I wasn't expecting what it would be like. I thought it was going to be like, it's going to be really bad. But it's just a fun adventure movie. But it should be like, low budget, um, like, you know, this action flicks, and, like, imitation, like, knockoff movies. Definitely get a kick out of this. 
It's pretty damn cool. I, I really enjoyed it. It's about 100 minutes long, but it's fun. Cool effects, funny crap, cheesiness. It's just a great little adventure movie. But it has some fun stuff by uh, all the films. Definitely check that out. I think it comes out this week. Fallen right here. And then one more I'm going to throw in there, which you might not be able to get easily, is this one called The Making of Star Wars and the Effects of Empire Strikes Back. Right over here. This is a cool font I got like a couple of weeks ago. I just want to talk about it real quick. Really cool. I found this at a thrift shop for a dollar. And this thing goes for like 100, 150 bucks. I didn't even know that's one of the most expensive Star Wars VHS out there. Next to the original, original release of the first one is this one's next rarest one out there. It's these cool two documentaries of the movies themselves, made for TV specials, and they were never released really on a Blu-ray or I think on DVD. And they put it out again on the Sci-Fi Channel, but it was hosted by a different host. So these are the originals, and they're just really cool. Like this cool about the makings of the movie and interviews from back in the day. The very first one, like a 70s made for TV special, then an early 80s made for TV special too. But this is a cool one to have in a collection. I was definitely happy to get this. And I've never seen this release ever before at a video shop. But when I saw this at the thrift store, I was like, what is this? And I looked at it, look, I've never seen it before, so I knew it probably had to be rare, and it actually was. So this is definitely one I'll definitely keep and not sell because I'll probably doubt I'll ever find this one again. And if I ever do, it won't be for one dollar, I tell you that. So this is a cool one I just want to put out there. If you guys ever see this release at a thrift shop, Pick it up, it's worth a lot of money. If you guys remember this one, let me know if you guys remember seeing this special or watching this back in the day. But yeah, this is a cool one I just want to throw out there. And I said, if you find it, definitely buy it and have it in your Star Wars collection. Alright, so this is my movie review, so hope you guys enjoy this. It's a few movies and that VHS of Star Wars making of. Links down below if you want to get these releases and some other ones too. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me at the Monster Truck Rally and whatnot. That was just a fun little, quick little video, some fun. Hit up the Monster Truck Show. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you guys later on the next one. I'll see ya.